All right, guys, let's go over how to be safe in the photography classroom. This is a required unit. I, I do have to teach this. There's not a lot of ways to hurt yourself in photography, but there are some, and there's some things that you need to be aware of. Some of this is only going to be applicable to when we're back in school. Some of it is applicable to when you're at home. So hopefully you just remember everything in here and we'll be just fine. So let's go ahead and get started and we'll cruise right through this thing. So here's some general safety protocols that I want you to remember that are going to just make sure you're safe. One, don't walk around while looking through the camera. That's a really, really bad idea. It's real easy to trip and fall and hurt yourself. And uh, if you fall and land on a camera, it really hurts. I know from experience, I've done it a few times. Okay, second thing is I want you to always have that camera strap around your neck. And the reason why is if you don't have to worry about dropping the camera, it's much easier for you to focus on what's going on around you, making sure, again, you're not going to trip and fall or step out in front of something. So if you have that strap around your neck, the camera's not going anywhere. So you can focus on just being safe and, and not getting hurt. Next up, this is a super important one, is don't ask your models to do anything unsafe, reckless, dangerous, whatever it is. Um, if you want to do that stuff, don't, but if you are going to do it, don't turn those photos in because any photo you submitted of an unsafe act is going to automatically receive a zero. An example of that would be if you had your models jumping off something really tall. So my rule is no jumping off of anything higher than your waist. Again, if you want to do that on your own, don't. But if you do, don't turn those photos in because like I said, they're going to automatically receive a zero. Okay. This one's for when, if we ever go back to school, sorry, if, when we go back to school, if you're out taking photos and the fire alarm goes off, just evacuate with the nearest class. Don't try to uh, find me or evacuate with me. And if you can do so safely and the school actually is on fire, take some photos of it. And if we go into lockout or lockdown mode while at school, head somewhere safe and stay there. Again, don't try to find your way back to my classroom if you're out taking photos. Find a safe place, get there, stay there, stay safe, whatever you gotta do, okay? Just a couple other things here. Uh, if somebody gets injured while you're out taking photos, again, while we're at school, let the people in charge know. Go to the main office. Let them know. Don't need to come in and find me. They'll, they'll find me. It's most important that we get, uh, get that person that got hurt taken care of. All right. Other things to be aware of here. Be careful with tripods. It's actually really easy to hurt yourself with a tripod. I've been using them for years, and I've hurt myself quite a few times. So, um one uh, real easy way to do it is as, you, as you're closing up the legs of the tripod, you accidentally leave your finger in there like this. And it's, it's pretty common if you're not paying attention when you close this leg to leave your finger in there. And that really, really hurts. I've done it before right in the middle of a big photo shoot. Uh, back when I was uh, doing portrait photography, I smashed the crap out of my finger and I just had to deal with it and live with it and finish the photo shoot. And it was not very much fun. This is what my fingernail looked like the very next day. Uh, it's also pretty easy when these legs are out on the tripod to accidentally trip over them. So be careful that you don't do that. And then uh, I see you guys sometimes carrying the tripods over your shoulders like this. That's a terrible idea, by the way. But uh, if you were doing that, you were paying attention. You might accidentally hit somebody in the head with it. So just be careful with these tripods that you don't, uh, don't hurt somebody else or yourself with them. Okay, so that's it. That's our whole safety lesson. Um, pretty simple stuff. Pretty much, I think, common sense. But you never really know with, uh, with people these days. So that's it. Let me know if you have any questions.